Hello guys. Today I have brought you a recipe that is super healthy, super tasty and it is also easy to cook. Here we have some air fried potatoes, tomatoes and paneer. They are crispy outside and soft inside. Do they look mouth watering to you? And it is irresistible to control these paneer cubes. They are crunchy on one side and another side is super soft. These tomatoes are so juicy and flavorful. These potatoes are crunchy outside and soft inside, similar to french fries. But they taste way better than french fries and in terms of nutrients, they are excellent. Just see how nicely they are cooked from inside. So, let's start this mouth watering recipe. So, take the smallest mixer jar, the one we use for grinding spices. Let's grind all the ingredients shown in the plate. 1 inch piece of ginger, roughly chop it. 1 green chilli if you eat medium spicy food. Some coriander leaves, if you have fresh, please use them but I do not have fresh so I am using the dry coriander leaves 2 tablespoon of roasted gram or roasted chana add them a teaspoon of rock salt a teaspoon of mango powder or amchur some table salt or regular sea salt as per your taste let's grind it into a coarse mixture this is how it looks after grinding Take it out in a big container. Add some yogurt. Here I have added around 6 tablespoons of yogurt. Let's mix it well. At this time you should mix some turmeric powder but because I missed it at this time I have added that later. Please check the consistency here. We don't want it so dry or so watery. It's ready now. Let's prepare the vegetables. Here I have taken two medium sized potatoes and I am going to make thick slices with them. Thickness of each slice will be like the thickness of french fries. Let's slice them both. Let's mix the slices into the marination and as I missed to add turmeric before I am adding that now. Mix them well and let's add some tomatoes. I have taken small sized tomatoes and have cut them into halves. Let's add the tomatoes and mix them well. Here I have some super soft and juicy paneer. This is homemade. So I am going to take half of this for this recipe. Let's cut it into big pieces. Let's mix the paneer into the marination. Do it very carefully because the paneer is soft and it might break. With the spoon it will take the whole day. So I am going to use my hands to do this. So the marinade is ready and let's cover it and keep it into the refrigerator for some time. You may keep it for at least half an hour to maybe few hours like 4 to 5 hours or maybe overnight. I am taking this out after around 5 to 6 hours and this is how they are. The vegetables have released the water and they are marinated well. Let's arrange the potato slices into your air fryer basket. Now we are going to add some oil, just few drops. Let's do that. One drop oil on each potato slice is more than enough. So, can someone tell me how much oil I have used in the recipe? Let's sprinkle some sea salt on the slices because potatoes do not absorb salt the way paneer and tomatoes does. Let's put this in the air fryer for 5 minutes and the temperature is 170 degrees. For now, we are cooking only the potatoes because obviously the potatoes need to be cooked longer than the tomatoes and paneer. Here we have taken out the basket after 5 minutes and the potatoes are semi cooked. Let's arrange the tomatoes over them. Let's arrange the paneer now. Keep the paneer pieces either on the potato or on the tomatoes. 
but do not keep them directly on the basket otherwise they will stick to the basket also i feel that keeping the paneer pieces on the tomato or on potato keeps them moist and soft put the basket in the air fryer once again for 5 minutes and 170 degrees let's check them after 5 minutes you can see the paneer is very soft and delicate now next we are going to put them in the air fryer on high heat for 5 minutes high heat to make the vegetables crunchy from outside so this last 5 minutes the temperature is 200 degrees the highest temperature we can set in air fryer 5 minutes are over and ta da let's check them now they are ready now you can check the texture they are soft from inside just see them the paneer is super soft and not rubbery it is very soft and delicate and flavorful okay so i like to cook my paneer only from one side and i like it to be soft from another side it feels more juicy this way this is a simple healthy and tasty recipe everyone at my home loves them you can serve them with some tomato sauce some green chutney or with some chaat masala sprinkled over them but i personally like them on their own they can be served as starters or as evening snacks the best of them are these potatoes you can also try this recipe just with these potatoes i'm sure that everyone at your home will love them please try this recipe and share your experience with me i hope to see you again in my next video till then stay happy stay healthy bye bye